This is the Skywing 38 inch PP laser and I'm going to do a build video on this. It's very similar to the uh, 38 inch uh, edge from Future Model. The wingspan is identical to the edge. The wing is a little thicker on the Skywing and a little bit less taper out toward the end. The leading edge is a little sharper and not as rounded as on the uh, Future Model edge. The laser has a clear canopy which is really nice. Here's my electronics. I'm going with the uh, YEP 30 amp ESC. I like it because it puts out uh, 5.5 volts and 4 amps to the uh, servos. Got a, a lemon receiver. Uh, I've got a couple of uh, Emacs servos for the uh, aileron because I had them on hand. I'm going to go ahead and use them. And a Power HD puts out a little more torque for the elevator. And I'm going with a Corona on the uh, rudder. And I'm going to use a Sunny Sky 2216 1250 kV motor. Build instructions are in Chinese, but uh, they do have some pretty good pictures in here on uh, how to do the build. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and build it like I built the uh, future model edge. Start by removing the wing cutouts. The elevator servo goes on the right side with the output shaft uh, forward. And I've got a servo extension on there. I think it's a 12 inch. Pulled it through with this little tool right here. And the rudder servo is on the uh, left side. Now we install the elevator horns on all four control surfaces. Start with the rudder. Control horns are installed. Next we cut this little piece of wood out of here so that we can get the uh, horizontal stabilizer and elevator in. And now the landing gear. And I secured the uh, wood piece with goop. Now we install the wing. Just slide it in. The wing is installed and we measure from the tail to the edge on both sides to make sure it's equal and it's secured with goop. Now we install the elevator. We turn it upside down and push it in. Once it's all the way in we go ahead and flip it over. Then we push in the horizontal stabilizer. Then we install the elevator hinges back into the horizontal stabilizer. Now we measure from corner to corner on the left wing and the left tail and the right wing and right tail to make sure those distances are equal and that will make sure that our uh, horizontal uh, tail assembly will be nice and even with the wing. Then we glue the horizontal stabilizer to the fuselage and I use some uh, foam safe CA here. Then we glue all of the control surfaces, the hinges into the uh, wing on both ailerons. There's four of them there and also on the elevator as well as the rudder. And I'll let that soak in overnight. Now we install the aileron servos. And now the main landing gear wheels. Put this little collar on. And now we build the tail wheel assembly. This little collar right here goes on the shaft first. Install the tail wheel assembly. Secured with 30 minute epoxy. I like to strengthen the motor box to improve it for extreme aerobatics. So I cut some little carbon fiber rods here and I'm going to go ahead and add those. I'm going to drill four holes on both sides of the motor box here, 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 and here, and on the other side and uh, install this carbon fiber tubing. Carbon fiber rods are in and also beef up the uh, motor box with a little bit of uh, 30 minute epoxy just all around all the edges and joints. I went ahead and connected all the servos up to the receiver and I went ahead and bound that up to the transmitter. Travel is set to 125% on the elevator, rudder and ailerons. Sub trim is set to zero on the elevator, rudder and ailerons. And the trims are all centered. Now we'll go ahead and arm the ESC. That will center all of the uh, servos. Next we'll go ahead and build the push rods. The ball joint is a press fit onto the push rod end and you'll notice that uh, one side of the push rod end is a little bit larger than the other. And I just grab that ball with a paper towel and just push it real hard and it'll snap right in there. Push rods are ready to go. I removed the ball joint from the push rod so that I could screw it into the uh, horn. I had to use some pliers to do it. I put a little tape on there so I don't scratch the ball and just uh, grab it and screw it in there like that. To get the ball into the servo arm, I drilled it out with a 1 8 inch drill here and I'm using some pliers, paper towel there to screw that in and that seems to be working okay. 
that's in there pretty good. I'll go ahead and put some goop on the uh, threads on the back side just to secure it all the way. And the next step before connecting the uh, push rod up to the servo arm is just to adjust the length. So I did that by screwing that in a little bit more until it was just right. What I'm looking for is uh, to make sure that the aileron is centered with the wing and also that I have 90 degrees right there. Let me put that on and we'll take a look at it. I've got the push rod back onto the ball joint on the servo arm here. I've got 90 degrees here so the sub trim is really good. I don't need to make any adjustments there. My travel is at 125 percent right now but I can fine-tune that later. Um, everything looks pretty good. I've got it armed. Um, we've got nice travel there, so I'll go ahead and do the, uh, the other aileron right now. Both aileron push rods are connected and adjusted, and the elevator is connected and adjusted, and the rudder is also connected and adjusted, and we have our 90 degrees right here between the servo arm and the push rod. And now we install the side force generators. We just peel off this little insert here on the inside. Just apply a little bit of goop on the inside there and stick it right on. And I've got a few pins in there while the goop sets up. And now we'll go ahead and install the landing gear skirts. I'm going to use goop for that. Next we mount the receiver, the speed controller, and the motor. I use bolts to hold the motor in. It just uh, works out a whole lot better. Last step is to install the cowling. We'll go ahead and remove the inserts on the front and on the back. Here's the travel on the ailerons. Elevator travel up, down. And left rudder, right rudder.